What is up guys, it is Happy Shark here and today I'm going to be showing you guys my PC. So, today I'm showing you guys my PC, and this is what it looks like. I really, really, really like it. I like how it runs. I like the performance it gets, though it is not as good as it could be. It's basically just a beginner's build, and um, I'm going to start building PCs as a hobby, and once that happens, I will, you know, I'll build some really nice PCs, and eventually I'll upgrade from this one. But, for right now, this is what I got, so I'm going to show you guys. First of all, the case is a Spec 01 carbide case. A really nice case. I really liked it. It was great for this build. It's all metal, um, and the sides come off really easily. It comes with a side window, red carbide series from Corsair. So, really nice case. Um, just work our way from left to right, I guess. So, up here in this corner, we got two four pin fans these are um, arctic airflow fans and they just draw air through the case i will have the links to everything in the description well i'll actually have the link to my parts list on pc part picker and that'll give you everything the links to everything here we got my uh, stock cpu cooler i'm going to upgrade this one probably tonight that'll be a separate vlog i'm going to go to an arctic um, revo Pro Rev 2, and that'll make it nice and quiet, because let me tell you, not only does this thing get hot, it gets loud. I can't hear anybody, even with my headphones off while I'm gaming. So, moving down, we got my uh, Sapphire R9, Radeon R9270X with 4 gigs of cache. It is not a standard R9270X. Like I said, it has 4 gigs of cache memory instead of 2, and it um, has a higher... Um, core clock than the other sapphires, than the other R9270Xs. Moving down, we got another Corsair product. I really like Corsair. Um, it's, this is a Corsair CX600. It's a nice power supply, though I can't upgrade for SLI like I wanted to, or Crossfire, excuse me, that's what it's called when it's AMD. I wanted to upgrade to Crossfire, so you can see there's another slot for another graphics card right here. But I can't because my power supply doesn't provide enough wattage. So instead of going through the pain of taking out my power supply, putting an entirely new one, and having to rehook all the cables, I'm probably just going to build a new PC within the next year or so. And that'll be good. Moving over, we got our drive cage. We got up here, it comes with four three and a half inch drive cages. And that was, you know, it's nice. It's not a whole lot, but for somebody who isn't doing a whole lot, works out great so up here you guys probably can't really see that is a silicon power 128 gigabyte ssd solid state drive that i am very disappointed i made that purchase because with for only like 20 dollars more you can get a 240 gig which is probably what i'm going to get another one and put it down here because i'm already out of room on this so i've had to start saving um programs on my one terabyte western digital blue hard drive at 7200 rpm which is, you know, it's nice. Like I said, could be better. So, moving on to my motherboard. As you guys can see, this is an MSI 970 Gaming. Very nice motherboard. I highly recommend MSI. They, the BIOS on this thing was awesome. Not only did it look great, you could click around on this thing. It was not like other BIOSes. Moving on over here, we got my two sticks of RAM. I have two 4 gigs Corsair Vengeance, another Corsair product. Like I said, I really love them. I'm hoping to get two more of the exact same sticks and upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM because as well as, you know, 4 gigs is nice, eight, or 8 gigs is nice, 16 gigs would be better. And then moving on up here, we got an LG M-Disc uh, CD writer and player. It was about $17. It was very cheap. It, and um, it works great, does what it needs to do. We Up here we got our um, 
our audio, we got our headphone port and our microphone port. We got a USB 2.0 header, USB 3.0 header, power button, restart button. Really great. Really happy the case came with all that. And then moving on to the back, we have, oh, forgot to show you one thing. Next, we have my network card down here. It's just a TP-Link 300 megs per second network card. And it has three antennas back here. And speaking of back here, we got my board ports. Really great. We got we got a bunch of audio outs cables, Ethernet, and a couple USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0s, and then two more or four more USB 2.0s. Um, so in total, it actually comes with four USB 3.0s. You can see these are actually meant for gaming devices. I have my keyboard mouse plugged in here, and then I have my controller adapter and my um, my wireless headset there. Um, I am wireless, like I said. These are my antennae for my network card, and then this is just a DVI to H. No, this is just a converter. This is a converter from a um, DMI to a VGA cable because the graphics card is slightly older, so it did not come with a. Uh, did not, so it came with this because it's older. Um, so that is my PC. Hope you guys are fans of it. It's a great PC. It runs really nice. Like I said, though, it does get loud, and I'm going to replace this. Also, I'm looking to upgrade my RAM, upgrade my memory, and uh, upgrade my peripherals. So signing off for now, this is Happy Shark, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. If you didn't like this video, well, you guys know what to do. And um, just have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.